Hi Grandma, I'm a huge fan, and I'm currently in a maximum security prison for the rest of my life because someone misspelled someone else's name. Remember when I made content that was psychological torture instead of non-stop whining and rambling? Good times. Now, I originally wanted to put something in between this two-month gap with something similar, until I realized this new video could actually physically hurt some people. I do realize this intro is pretty bonkers, so let's start at the beginning. In 1878, British meteorologist, I was working on a game called Marquis OS, but unfortunately it has the small problem of sucking, plus will take 69 years to finish, plus no one knew what the game actually was, including me, plus is a cheap rip-off of the hit indie video game had no space outlaw. If you're wondering how does one get to such catatonic state, you don't. Anyway, I decided to cancel the project, due to the aforementioned issues, but you can play a public demo and listen to the soundtrack brought to you by Alexander 343 XD. However, I'm making a new game, called Stellar Thing. They say we're born too late to explore Earth, too early to explore outer space, we're born just in time to see a machine create something that would send a Victorian child into cardiac arrest. Not sure where I'm going with this, the point is that it's a space game. It's the year 2373, and the government launched a new spaceship, and you're on it. Unfortunately, Earth immediately exploded due to geopolitics, drastically affecting the stock market. Now, this is a 3D sandbox game, so you can do many things, build an empire, fuck around in alien planets, commit war crimes, exploit a planet's resources and population, be forced to commit more war crimes to survive due to geopolitics, etc. So you have a spaceship, and you can explore procedurally generated planets. This universe wouldn't be too big, just a couple solar systems would be enough. In planets you would find resources and aliens with with each having a unique personality. Aliens would also form empires with cities, culture, language, etc. This isn't some revolutionary AI, it already exists in strategy games and stuff. But the resources found in planets aren't just for survival, they can also be used to unlock sick shit, such as a sick laser of death, or fancy machinery to get more resources to get a sick laser of death. However, it's not that easy, as you get occasional visits by pirates and asteroids, which is unfortunate. There's also an economy with international and interstellar malls, where you can trade all kinds of bullshit. Your ultimate goal is to bring back humanity better than ever with an empire across the galaxy, and it doesn't matter what insane approach you use. So while I was making Marky's OS, I had three ideas of what I could make next, something about making doohickeys, something about making empires, and something about space and aliens. I realized I could merge the three, so I did, as always, I started by committing a huge mistake, in this case I decided to try making game engines for a bit, to see if my brain grew since the Marquis OS incident. Now, this isn't a programming channel anymore, so I have to come up with incredibly stupid analogies, for example, the game is a burger, the bread is the game engine, the language is the plate, and you will have to deal with this analogy for the rest of your existence. I first tried Dart with Flutter with Flame, unfortunately you won't have to hear those dumb names again since they suck. The engine I've been using so far is Godo, unironically and unrelated to the Unity incident, and Godo supports three languages, GD Script, the language brought to you by the Godo developers, C Sharp, which is like Java but Microsoft, and C++, which is what Godo itself is written on. In my opinion, GD Script is an insult to my intelligence, and C++ is about as enjoyable as paying close attention to the current geopolitical and socio-economic state of the world, so I've been using C Sharp. Unfortunately, Microsoft is the anti-sense company, so c -sharp can make sense. In response to c -sharp sucking, Microsoft created .NET Core, not to be confused with .NET Framework or the more general term of .NET, as if the name c -sharp wasn't stupid enough. .NET Core is like old .NET, but more open, and stuff. They also wanted to improve cross-platform support, and while it's pretty good on PC, mobile support only works when it feels like it, and unfortunately it never feels like it. So I could either wait for 2026 or something for them to fix it, or, stay in old Godo which uses old C Sharp so mobile support still works, which is what I was doing for Marky's OS, but it's old, so instead of thing I wanted to get out of this pickle. I tried to see if Godo C++ was usable, it's not, so I decided to stay in old Godo like I did for Marky's OS, and when Microsoft solves this pickle I would just fucking explode. Back then the idea was for it to be 2D top down instead of 3D. So I made a 2D top down player. It sucked, but it wasn't just my code that sucked, old Godo sucked, so I decided to drop mobile support since it's not fucking worth it. 
I'm not gonna become a millionaire with a game called Twerk Racing 3D. Stellarving is gonna be Windows and Linux only, no mobile due to the aforementioned issues, and no Mac or iPhone unless I find a briefcase full of money. Now that I finally left hell, I decided to try making a game engine again but with C-sharp using Silk.net, which is like a very small bun, connected to like Juice or something which would be the level libraries, this analogy is getting out of hand. Now, C-sharp with Silk.net is pretty good, I managed to write a pretty good part of the engine. Now it's dark, and you see- However, I realized that I prefer having a finished game over some really cool code structure. No one plays a game and says, wow, nice internal structure, so I went back to Godot, but newer Godot this time. With this new project, the first thing I did was, of course, try to make a space background with particles, and fail miserably. The space background is an ongoing war in fact. I thought it was time to get rid of these hideous textures, so first I tried to make the player texture, based on the character of the person who wrote this epic script and edited this epic video. And failed miserably. I then tried to make the wall and floor, and also failed miserably. I'm not an artist, so I got my arch nemesis feline cheese, who can actually draw a square, to make the art, and she made this handsome player sprite. Now it was time to start making the epic systems of the game, starting with the spaceship editor, since I wanted the players to be able to design sick shapes for their spaceship. Unfortunately, that's some tricky stuff, so I decided to just give the players some spaceship models to buy with virtual dollar dues. Also, I'm not sure when exactly this happened, but Alex 343EKSD really needs to get a job or something, because he decided to make the entire OST before I could even implement it. Here's some tracks from before he got the style right. Eventually he understood my incomprehensible ramblings and got the style right, composing the tracks that have been playing in the background this whole time. Unfortunately, it turns out the top-down sprites are quite literally impossible to make, even for someone who can draw a box, so I did the obvious thing, which is to learn Blender and make the game 3D. Now, I'm a lazy fuck piece of shit, so I didn't learn all of Blender, just enough to move some cubes and spheres around. Which is why the entire game has three polygons. I animated the player, internally known as Bob Guy, noticed that this is in fact a game about Napoleon Complex, and got to work on epic furniture, such as the chair, the table, and the fridge. However, the player is currently floating on the abyss, which is pretty inconvenient, so I made a spaceship. While the model was cool, making collisions for it is impossible, unless I wanted to manually multiply a gazillion numbers, so I made a square spaceship instead. I also needed a space background, so I stole a very cool space shader. It sucked. Now it was time to actually for real for real start making the epic systems of the game, starting with the resource thing, then the crafter thing, then the placer thing, and I deleted them because the save system sucked, and this orthographic camera sucked, so I deleted almost all of the code. <laughs> Anyways, I added some sick lights, a sick panorama sky I will most definitely change later, and tried to make a third person camera. And it didn't work. I also designed a handsome UI for the game, featuring a handsome top bar, a handsome hot bar, and a handsome sidebar for interacting with stuff. Finally we arrive at today, where I'm writing about me 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 writing about what a scrumptious segue to today's sponsor stay tuned for the next video where I actually try every language starting with proto-indo-european then old norse then if